Why did Jaden Smith want to get emancipated? And what unusual accessory did he bring to the Met Gala? Whether you admire Jaden Smith or think he's over the top, these are undeniably his weirdest moments ever. Jaden Smith was a rather odd teenager. During an interview with The Life Files TV, he revealed that his interests were not what one might expect of somebody who was, at the time, 14 years old. He said in the interview, "...I watch, like, Steve Jobs interviews. I don't really watch TV. I stopped watching TV when I turned, like, 10 because my parents were like, TV's really bad for you. I'll watch movies I like to see, Steve Jobs interviews, something that's going to make me smart, and then go to sleep. I always have to go to sleep with the TV on, though." Smith went on to explain why he doesn't really enjoy watching TV, adding, "...I'm always watching something, I just don't like watching TV. I don't like being sold something every five minutes a commercial comes up." So, if Teenage Smith refused to watch TV, what hobbies kept him busy? Well, at the time, the 14-year-old was running his own clothing brand, Misfits. The line, which is seemingly still in business as of 2022, includes grungy streetwear that features colorful, bold designs. Perhaps Smith was onto something with his decision to avoid TV. After all, it seems to have allowed him to be productive enough to start a clothing line as a high school freshman. We've learned over the years that Jaden Smith doesn't appear to be afraid to speak his mind, even though his beliefs are sometimes controversial. The rapper is quite the conspiracy theorist, and this technology-related theory he believes in might shock you. When asked by HuffPost what theories people should be most aware of, the actor responded, "...the technology that we're currently at is not the maximum of the human capability, and that there are places in the world where their technology supersedes what we see here on a daily basis. It's made by humans, and it should be acknowledged, and it should be looked at because it could heal a lot of problems." Smith went on to confirm these places would be similar to the fictional country of Wakanda, depicted in the movie Black Panther. "...If the world found out what we truly are, what we possess, we could lose our way of life." It is perhaps no surprise that the actor is so passionate about the possibility of Wakanda-like communities that could solve problems for those in crisis, because he has used technology to help places in need himself. In 2019, Smith partnered with Drew Fitzgerald to develop a portable water filtration system called the Waterbox to help those in need of clean water in Flint, Michigan and beyond. Jaden Smith asked to be emancipated at only 15 years old. The musician's father, Will Smith, opened up about the events leading up to Jaden's shocking request in his memoir, Will. Will Smith explained that tensions were raised after the failure of his film After Earth, which received horrible reviews after its 2013 release. According to Will's book, Jaden received a lot of backlash for his acting in the movie. What was I supposed to do? Will had instructed Jaden's performance, so the teen became upset with his father after he began to receive criticism. Will Smith wrote, "...we never discussed it, but I know he felt betrayed. He felt misled, and he lost his trust in my leadership." At 15 years old, when Jaden asked about being an emancipated minor, my heart shattered. Jaden's mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, was also saddened to hear that her son wanted to leave home at such a young age. She spoke about the difficult time in the family's life during an episode of her Red Table Talk series, sharing that when he was around 15, they had a heartbreaking conversation. You were like, Mom, I have to leave here to live my life. Luckily for Will and Jada, Jaden ultimately decided not to move forward with emancipation. Education is one of the many topics Jaden Smith is passionate about. He's shared how he feels about traditional schooling in the past, though his opinions didn't go over well with many social media users. In 2013, a teenage Smith took to Twitter to share a series of messages that questioned traditional education. One tweet read, "...school is the tool to brainwash the youth." Another read, "...if everybody in the world dropped out of school, we would have a much more intelligent society." Smith's musician friend, Tyler the Creator, replied to that tweet with, "You." You actually kind of sound like an idiot. Smith's frustration with the school system could have to do with the way he was raised. The star was homeschooled as a child but later attended a private school founded by his parents. In an interview with Essence, Jada Pinkett Smith echoed her son's opinion on traditional education, saying, "...the school system in this country, public and private, is designed for the industrial age. We're in a technological age. We don't want our kids to memorize, we want them to learn." Jaden Smith is known for saying some pretty outrageous things in interviews. One interview with the New York Times T Magazine gave fans a peek inside the then-teenager's brain. It turns out Smith seems to be very aware of how he's perceived by the public, and his outlandish image is all part of a bigger plan. He told a reporter, "...the only way to change something is to shock it. If you want your muscles to grow, you have to shock them. If you want society to change, you have to shock them." 
Smith is very good at implementing a certain amount of shock value in everything he does, so it isn't surprising to hear this seems to be a goal of his. When asked about his plans for the future, Smith said, "...I have a goal to be just the most craziest person of all time. And when I say craziest, I mean like, I want to do like Olympic-level things. I want to be the most durable person on the planet." My first style inspiration is Batman. Jaden Smith's Twitter rant about traditional education is tame compared to some of the other things he's tweeted in the past. The star has earned a reputation for being one of social media's most interesting verified users over the years. He once tweeted, "...how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real?" This was perhaps overshadowed by the time the actor logged on to declare, "...most trees are blue." He explained the meaning behind some of his posts in an interview with HuffPost in 2018. When asked about the tweet that suggested eyes and mirrors are fake, the actor the actor explained he got the idea from two scientific studies he'd recently read, saying, "...so like, we can only see three base colors, but there's so much more on the electromagnetic spectrum of light that we could see, but our eyes are just not capable of seeing." Which brought me to the realization that what we see on an everyday basis is not actually what's there. It's actually only what we can take in. As previously mentioned, Jaden Smith has a knack for reading scientific studies and developing his own conclusions. He actually even considers himself a scientist, and it turns out many of his controversial moments have been experiments. Smith spoke about his and his sister's approach to their careers in an interview with GQ, saying, "...me and Willow are scientists, so everything for us is a scientific test upon humanity. And luckily, we're put in a position where we can affect large groups of human beings at one time." For example, their T Magazine interview was one one of the duo's experiments. This might explain why Smith and his sister ridiculously suggested they can control time. He told GQ, "...that experiment, it went really, really well. We got to see how people reacted. And they actually ended up reacting exactly as we predicted beforehand that they would react." Poseidon has influenced me all types of ways. Smith went on to compare himself to the genius astronomer and father of modern science, Galileo, stating, "...people think you're crazy. I feel like it's an honor, actually, for people to think I'm crazy. Because they thought Galileo was crazy, too, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm as revolutionary as Galileo, but I don't think I'm not as revolutionary as Galileo." Even as a teen, Jaden Smith had a detailed plan for his future. In 2015, Smith outlined his 10-year plan in an interview with GQ. When asked where he wanted to be in the next 10 years, he simply replied, quote, "...gone." Fortunately, he went on to explain what he meant, adding, "...no one will know where I am in 10 years. They'll see me pop up, but they'll be like, where'd you come from? No one will know. No one will know where I'm at. No one will know who I'm with. No one will know what I'm doing. I've been planning that since I was like 13." Though such an answer might seem selfish, the truth of Smith's plan was anything but. He said, "...it'll be kind of like Banksy, but in a different way. More of a social impact. Helping people, but through art installations." While the star has yet to disappear, he has has helped communities through his efforts to feed Los Angeles residents who are experiencing homelessness. In 2021, he announced a plan to turn his I Love You food truck, which provides food to those in need, into a restaurant with the same purpose. Smith explained that the restaurant is also open to the general population, but those who have the means will be required to pay for their food and the food for the person behind them. If anyone knows how to make a memorable appearance, it's Jaden Smith. The star stood out at the 2017 Met Gala when he posed for photos with his blonde dreadlocks in his hand as an accessory. He told Vogue's Andre Leon Talley about his inspiration for the interesting fashion choice. "...since I couldn't bring my sister as a date, I brought my old hair." He also explained that his all-black outfit was inspired by Dracula and the Matrix. The actor also brought an unexpected accessory to the 2018 Met Gala. In addition to wearing pieces from his own clothing line, Smith walked the carpet with the framed gold single certification plaque he received for his song, Icon. During an interview with Mr. Porter for his Misfits clothing line, Smith revealed clothes have a deeper meaning to him and his brand, saying, "...the collection is not just clothes to sell, it's loaded with spiritual experiences and mystical states. We're just making clothes that can go along with people's journeys. Jaden Smith's strong sense of individuality seems to impact his choices as a musician. His 2019 Coachella performance was an example of this. The rapper took to the stage to perform a set that included some of his most popular songs, like his gold-certified record, Icon. He also brought his sister on stage to perform. The most notable takeaway from the performance, though, was the Tesla Model X that was suspended in mid-air above the stage. Smith featured a Tesla in the music video for Icon that was released in 2017, so 
perhaps this was the inspiration for the stage prop. The musician's passion for technology could also explain why he's seemingly so interested in the electric car. Smith even told Above the Clouds that he believes there will be further developments in anti-gravity technology in the future, so maybe this is what he was getting at with the whole floating car motif. Tyler the Creator and Jaden Smith are alike in that they are both incredibly creative musicians, so it's no surprise that they're good friends. Dating rumors involving the two began circulating in 2018 when Smith announced that Tyler was his boyfriend at the Camp Flog Na Carnival Music Festival, saying, I want to tell you, Tyler doesn't want to say, but Tyler's my mother boyfriend and he's been my mother boyfriend my whole life. It is likely that the rapper was joking because Tyler can be seen laughing and shaking his head in the audience. Neither Smith nor Tyler ever officially confirmed being together, and both have been seen with other partners since Smith's onstage announcement. In 2021, Smith was spotted kissing Cara Delevingne on Valentine's Day, according to the US Sun. Tyler, the creator, meanwhile, is rumored to be dating Instagram model Rain Judge. The pair made a rare red carpet appearance at the LACMA Art and Film Gala in 2021 check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.